Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the bakery. I'm your host, Barry Pies, and tonight we are back with more dot hack. Um, I am not on camera right now. Um, I do apologize. Um, <laughs> so my second monitor that I was so excited to have is unfortunately only compatible with VGA. And what VGA is, it's like an HDMI cable, but it's a little thicker. And uh, so uh, what I'd like to know is how does an H, how does a computer monitor from this day and age not have a fucking HDMI cable? But that's neither here nor there. So because of that, I'm actually unable to capture a proper way uh, with off my mini PC which has Barry's account on it so unfortunately I had to clear out Topher Gopher from my Garfield account and put Barry here and I'm just not in the mood to set up everything so no camera at least for right now maybe halfway through I'll feel the energy and do it but as of now no camera all right guys so get started First of all, I need my headset because I can't hear what is happening. Oh, nope, that doesn't. Nope, 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 nope. Now I can hear the game. Okay. All right, guys. So here's where we were. Pretty sure we were in the process of getting ready to do a door. Dungeon, whatever. Yeah, this is the next one we have to do. Merciless Grieving Furnace. But I don't think we're ready for that yet. I'm gonna go check out another dungeon for a minute. Get us some supplies. Oh my god, I came alone. I came alone. I know I'm supposed to bring a little magic girl who's standing right here, right now. Her. Gardenia? No, Maestral. Mistral. What? Gardenia's a spear check. What's wrong with me? <coughs> Alright, Maestral. Come be with me. Okay. And let's do... Who's somebody we have that could use some grinding? Oh, everybody's in their 40s. Okay, so everyone does level up, even when they're not with you, just slower. Because there's a couple characters here who I haven't used and are in their 40s now. Oh, wow. You guys are so weak. You want... Wait, where are you? Wait, get over here. I need to check your gear, dumbass. Hey there. Want my autograph? That's my problem. His spear. His spear needs to go. Hi 
inside there! Yeah, he needs a new spear. None of you will let me trade with you, will you? Yeah, nope. Okay. Great. Do so you just... Are you just stuck with that spear for now? I guess we could go to the other locations and try to find someone else to trade with. Yeah, his spear is 14. Okay. Yeah, he needs a new spear. Before we move on, I'm gonna go see if I can find him one. Warping to Delta. Delta server, Aqua Capital, Mach Anu. Alright, that's right. I tried to trade with that guy before and he wouldn't want anything. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, you. Hi there. Nice. Okay. Oops. I was crying when I met you. Now I'm dying to forget you. Hi, Ill. What's up? Welcome in. How are you this morning? For asking, I appreciate. Oh God, there's monsters! This is what happens when I try to set up my camera and then walk away for a minute.
Okay, these pumpkin dudes are very aggressive. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me do a thing. Let me do my thing, motherfucker. Pop, lock, and drop it. Oh, girl, is that me? Who's that pretty face on camera? Is that me? It's me. It's me. How y'all doing? What's up? Welcome to the fucking bakery, bitches. Okay. PS2 cables suck. Can we talk about PS2 trailers for a second? Okay. This cord just continues to tie itself up in a big old knot. Yes, you guys, I am streaming from an actual PS2. Not an emulator. I know there's a lot of people out there when people are streaming from old consoles that like to be like, no, you're not, you're a liar. And it's like, mm, but I'm right here. <laughs> Camera. Okay. Um, I'm a big fat liar, Jinxie. What the fuck do you, like, what do you know? What do you know? This... By the way, welcome in, Jinxie. Did you lose a golden egg? What? Hmm. Let's see. Just the with the weapon of the go in till Great. More silver and gold axes. Silver and gold. Oh no, not these things. Oh. Okay, usually those are a lot harder. And they can revive each other. Data drain. I'm gonna suck out your data with a straw. Tastes like zero zero one zero one one zero Patching me up. I'm not ready yet. I need to be fully healed. Thank you. Little Miss Thing. I need your magic to regenerate a lot faster. Okay? A lot faster. How are you gonna be my little healing girl if you ain't got no mana? Ah, shit. The twin dragon move is very helpful. I'm gonna keep these set of weapons for a while. First aid. Fuck out of here. Okay, hold on. You get over here. He's weak to darkness. Dead. Didn't realize it.
Wow, these this is getting these are tough. Wow, I'm like missing all of my hits. This, these bad guys are really fast, apparently. I'm gonna designate her healing. If I designate her healing, then that means I won't have to keep yelling at her to do it. And if I want her to do moves other than healing, all I have to do is click the attack spell option or skills and she'll do something different. But this way now when she's on autopilot, she'll prioritize healing because I can't be in charge. I can't, I just, I can't keep up. You know what I mean? When I'm playing the healing unit, that's different. If I'm in a group of people and I'm the healing guy, I can handle that. But when I'm controlling the entire party, nah, my healing unit needs to be on fucking auto. Seriously? You're making it so I can't- I- uh, really? Really? You're just paralyzing me fucking move after move? Are you fucking kidding me? Y'all need to fuck right off. recover your HP? No. Can she? Yeah, probably. So right now, we're just trying to save up a bunch of money, guys, because the new current level that I have to do, I can't, I can't do it. Dante's Blades. I've never had those before. Those are, um, my weapons for me. What do they do? Uh, I'm curious. Ah, they have a skill drain. but my attack drops pretty significantly. We're gonna skip it. I'm gonna stick with what I've got going for me right now. It's what I've got going works, you know? Why change it? Oh, my back is about, my phone's about to die. Um, 
Honey, you're supposed... You're supposed to be prioritizing first aid. got an elemental critical against oh she can do light damage okay another set of dante's blades All right, guys, one second. I have to run to the bathroom. Okay. In a few. Partner sees the bathroom. Oh. All right. Shit. Did the wrong move again. Your running frog emoji is hilarious. I just wanted you to know that. Your running frog emoji fills me with glee and joy. Reminds me of Naruto, but a frog. not get an elemental hit for that. You're a lightning. And also, how come neither of these other two, how come neither of you have evo evolved? Oh my god. How come neither of you have leveled up yet? Oh, Jinxie. What's wrong with your day? My day just started. I've only been up for 54 minutes. So anything can happen. Rehydrate? Cheers. Mm. 
makes me ill to see you give love and affection at his will. You don't imagine how it makes me feel to see you with him. Cause it makes me ill to see you give love and affection at his will. You can imagine how it makes me feel to see you with him. Cause I know that we broke up And that doesn't mean you gotta get the cold shoulder Cause you know that I really do adore ya And I feel like I can't do nothing for you <laughs> See? Oh! Uh, that's right! Your power supply almost caught your computer on fire last night Right? Hey, Rocky, honey. Welcome in, birthday boy. Well, I mean, I know your birthday was yesterday, but still, birthday boy. We played a bunch of monster-catching games for him yesterday. Next time, though, we'll have to play something together. I don't know why I, why we didn't. Could have done that instead. We would have had more fun. Yo, you got Hogwarts Legacy for your birthday? I love that game. I haven't finished it. I haven't finished it. I need to. What house are you? Have you started playing it yet? Rocky, talk to me. Yes, I went Hufflepuff, because I am a Hufflepuff. I am such a Hufflepuff, it's not even funny. Yeah, I kill that. <laughs> Yay, I level up. Welcome back, Rocky. Night of the Living Ads. Yes! I can't wait for you to play Hogwarts. I need to get back into it and finish it. My partner made it further than I did, and I've had the game longer than him. Because I hyper-focused on it for a while. And uh, I think that's my problem. Is then I got, like, burnt out because I played so much of it at once. And now I'm just kind of like, eh, I'll go back to it. But now I'm like, okay, I need to get back into it. Because they announced a sequel. The sequel might allow you to play with friends when it comes out. Okay, so I'm, you know me, Jinxie. I am JK's biggest, like, hate, like, I fucking hate her, okay? Like, I cannot stand her. 
whatever. She, to be fair, I didn't really care for her much when she originally published the books either because there was a lot of speculation that she ripped off the idea from another writer whose work never got to see the light of day because Harry Potter saw the light of day instead. Um, anyway, I, um, I hate to admit it, it's a, her, just her, not Harry Potter, not the universe, because that universe was one of the first books besides Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe that I was able to sit and read all the way through without any problems, because my ADD, I can't read, like, it takes a really good book for me to sit and read, and those books, um, well, and here's the problem with that, okay? So I'm all everybody having your opinion, even if it is filled with bigotry and hate, because that's the world we live in, and that's just how it's going to always be, and it's never going to change. So for me, I would have been fine if she had said her opinion once, as disgusting as it was, and then shut her mouth. But she doesn't. She continues to troll about it, and just, she continues to go on and on and on and open her mouth more and more and more. If she had said just once that she wasn't as trans, fine, okay, whatever, you're disgusting, go away. But, like, I would have been able to move past that. But it's the fact you continue to troll the fact that we call you a turf. Like, last year or the year before for Christmas, on her Twitter, she literally posted, Happy Turfness instead of Christmas. Unprovoked! Unpoked! She just decided to be a fucking trolling twat. And on her Twitter post, Merry Turf Miss, everybody! Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, bitch, you can't just shut up! You've got billions! Billions of dollars, and you, you just, you can't shut your stupid fucking spoiled mouth and just sit in your castle with your money? You have to continue to open your stupid, ignorant bitch mouth. That is my problem with her. And other celebrities like her. Just shut your mouth. No one wants to hear you. Just go play your character, write your book, and get the fuck off the screen. That is all you are paid to do. You are not paid to share your views on shit. They do have Harry they do have Christmas and Harry Potter. A couple of the students celebrate several things. Uh, but Christmas is usually the main focus because JK. Yeah, they usually do Christmas stuff, exchange some gifts. In fact, one of Harry's gifts was the invisible cloak for Christmas. So they do do Christmas. They don't really touch on any of the others because, well, you know. She's a good Christian woman. You don't really hear about anybody celebrating Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or anything else. It's usually, if they're celebrating Christmas holiday-like, it's Christmas. I don't think I ever heard of a single student in the book reading, uh, celebrating Hanukkah at all. I don't remember a single student mentioning it at all. Um, I'm pretty sure she basically it was just Christmas. Bloody a. Hey, Lugnir. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's crazy you're even here, bro. <laughs> what are you, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be asleep? Not that I'm not happy to have you. You know I love having you. It's just anytime you're here before. Oh, it's 11! Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I stand corrected. I did. I stand corrected. You did tell me yesterday you're usually up before 11. So I cannot. I cannot give you shit for that. It is 11. You did, you did mention that. You did mention that. I know, um, Canada has their problems with, uh, Justin being anti-Muslim. Or Arabic. I think it's Muslim. Anti-Muslim. He's, 
I mean, I, I know Canada's not European, but I kind of feel like they are, like, basically European. Yeah, I know, Rocky, I know. You don't like Justin Trudeau. I don't blame you. He's gross. He's gross. But he's pro-gay! Yeah, I don't care. He's pro-gay but anti-Muslim. He can fuck off. <laughs> you shouldn't be anti-anybody. <laughs> Everybody has a right to exist. The Frappettos. Fuck you. Oh, and billionaires. You all suck. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's gonna know that, it'll be Posh. Posh, what is the most welcoming European country? Oh, yeah, that's right. Norway. Norway loves everybody. Norway and Sweden. Norway and Sweden are like, we don't care. You come here. Yeah, Norway and Sweden love everybody. Including each other. I mean, they have literal sex festivals, okay? <laughs> They love love. <laughs> A lot. Well, I always forget that Norway is technically... Yeah, you know what though? The Germans felt like they had some making up to do, okay? Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. The Germans were like, yeah, you know, we kind of did some stuff and some things. How about we how how about we be welcoming instead? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's not have let's not have a repeat of you know who. Let's just be better people. But you know what? You know what? That is the perfect example of a country who looked at their past mistakes and did better because of it. And more countries and people need to learn from that. That is like, though, that is that definitely. Okay, that is like a good example, Germany. They're the ones who looked at it and was like, mm, we did some shitty shit. Yes, Greece, Greece definitely. Weren't they also one of the more advanced tech-wise? They had like the first like water thingies, aqueducts or whatever they were. Italy or Rome is the my, if anyone in here in the chat is going to know which one's the oldest, it's going to be Posh. He is a language, religion, and science nerd. I just do video games, comics, and anime. <laughs> one of us has to have intelligence of things that aren't relevant. Yeah, so did Rome. And then just took all the gods and named them after planets. Instead of Ares, you are Mars. Instead of Triton, you are, I mean, instead of Poseidon, you are Neptune. Instead of Apollo, you are the sun. Yeah. Oh, did not know that. That's interesting. Okay, we're doing like really good in this cave.
before we wrap this up today, I need you guys to help me decide for Topher Gopher what the next Atelier game we play is. Nobody answered me last night, which is fine. A lot of the people here who watched Topher Gopher was not even here last night, so that's okay. Um, but I need to figure out, because we beat Rorona. I don't have the money to buy Totori right now, which is the next Arland game after Rorona. So I was thinking we could go back and do some of the earlier Atelier games, since they are all in the same universe. Um, so... Technically, we would start with Atelier Marie, but I don't have the remake of Atelier Marie. And if I'm going to play Marie, I'm going to play the remake. I'm not going to play the original. Um, from what I understand, the remaster fixed a lot of issues with the original game. I don't know what they were. I did not play the original one because we did not have it in America. But from what I understand, there were some game mechanics that weren't so fun and the remaster fixed a lot of that um so after after marie um there are there's a series of atelier games that come before iris that we did not get in america but i did find translations for so we can play those or we could jump to Atelier Iris 2, which I have for the PS2, or Monokaima, which is the Atelier game that takes place in a school. To be honest, I'd also answer Greece from a cultural standpoint. Yeah, well, as a place to live in, if I might understand, their, like, power grid and stuff is not is still very, very third country. Or parts of their, or some of their islands are. Okay, that fight was, like, savage. Okay, bathroom, guys. I will be right back. All right, well, whatever. We're done with this dungeon. I have so many good fucking weapons right now. It's disgusting. All right, let's go do some selling. That would be really cool. I really like how they do the anima machine in the movie. 
Um, instead of being a bed you lay on, it attaches to you and allows you to fucking move. I thought, I mean, I know you saw the movie. I just, I'm reiterating. I thought that was, that was my favorite part. I thought that was just sick. That's fair, because the the way you hook into the Animus in the game is very, very like Matrix. Okay, Posh, you have the strategy guide. It is time for you to do your job, darling. I need to know who is suggested to bring to Merciless Grieving Furnace. I wanna bring the right team. Because every time we bring this, the, a team on my own, I get my ass kicked, but every time we do the team's, uh, the strategy guide suggests, we usually do at least okay. And I would at least like to do okay if possible. Plugging in my phone, I forgot I had a charger. There we go. I know I need to bring Maestral. That's why she's standing there. I'm gonna remove Nuke, because it's probably not him. He's not very good. I can't imagine him being the one that they want me to bring. Moonst- Oh, really? Strategy guide has spoken. She needs better foot and ankle. Stuff. What do you have equipped for now? Okay, you need 
a better light. You need better head armor. Oh. My. Oh. And your weapon is what? Let's give him this Mikazuchi. My. Th All right, there we go. Let's go save it again. And then I guess we go try this. And she's got water magic, so this should be helpful. I think this the strategy guide the last time we came here said to just head inside. Didn't we beat that guy that I had trouble with? The giant dude with the floating creatures? Or is that this fight? I thought we beat him on our second try. Yeah, we beat him. I think. Yeah, we did. Because I did it with Pyros and we won. Oh, is that this fight? Is that this level? Fuck. Uh. Okay. Um, this is what we're gonna do. I'm not listening to the strategy guide. We are going to run around, and I am going to gather supplies, and we are going to go back, and I'm going to buy status effect healing magic items, because... Yeah, I'm already... Look, I'm already dying so fast. This is ridiculous. These monsters are, like, way weaker than me, and I'm getting my butt kicked right now. That was ridiculous, dude. Moonstide, he, we're like dying in two hits. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna run around and grind. I don't, I'm not listening to the guide. I'm running around and we are grinding, leaving and coming back. I must. I don't have the patience for this. And I literally don't, I don't know any other way to fucking gear up. I'm already in the 40s. Like this is bullshit. This fight, this, Whatever. I the levels should not exist in this game if they do not mean shit. I'm in my 40s. This dungeon is 35. There is no reason I should be struggling. Period. If anything, I should be bulldozing through this dungeon like it's fucking nothing. But I'm not because this game's fucking level system is garbage. 
though. Awesome. I could come through here level 60 and still probably get my ass handed to me. Because that's how this game works. Maestro's already dead. Like, are you fucking kidding me? ridiculous. I'm getting like three experience points off of these monsters. This is bullshit. I'm really... Yeah. This level right here is making me not want to finish this game. Like, completely. Like, I really like am turned off right now to the dot hack game. Um, never finished them in high school. Because I only ever played the first one and never beat it. Uh, but yeah, I am not into this at all. This is ridiculous. How am I level 41 and I'm... Everything's almost killing me. It just doesn't... I, I, just, I can't fucking wrap my autistic brain around the fucking system in this game. I don't understand how I'm so powerful and everything here just kills me in three hits. It doesn't make sense to me. I fucking hate it. I don't like when something doesn't make sense. I'm getting like two experience points. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I can't even head inside the dungeon because I can't fucking find it. This is ridiculous. I'm <laughs> it's so annoyed. <laughs> uh, I'm really fucking annoyed right now. Where the fuck is this goddamn dungeon? what that thing was. I've never seen one of those. It's dead now. That a storm bracer.
saber dance. <laughs> Um, wood is wind, right, in this game? If they're earth, use wood. Wood is wind, right? Instead of having wind, they have wood. So if it's an earth element, you use wood. Because a normal elemental game, it would be wind you used against Earth, but because it's dot hack and they have to be fucking so different from everybody, it's wood instead of wind. Reminds me of the Warriors of Virtue back at growing up. They were the kangaroos who used the elements, but they used the Chinese elements. So it was metal, wood, air, and fire? Or earth? No, it was earth, wood, air, and metal. I don't think they had fire in that series. Warriors of Virtue, man, that's a series that needs to come back. Fucking Kung Fu Kangaroos, come on. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Warriors of Virtue used the Chinese elements. The ones that you just listed. There was fire, that's right. He used to throw, like, sparky things from his hands. Oh, and his ring. That's right. He, he had a, the fire guy had a chakaram as a weapon. And it had, it would spark up fire around it. Like it had sparklers attached to it. That was cool. Anybody else? Am I the only one who ever saw the Warriors of Virtue? What the fuck, guys? The hell was all your childhood? Sad shit. Warriors of Virtue was like big when I. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no one out there saw it. I wanted a book. I wanted a sequel first of all. I wanted a book. I got a book, but the, 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 I wanted a sequel movie. If I had Warriors of Virtue right now on Blu-ray, I know what I'd be watching a lot. <laughs> I fucking love that movie. Yay, a total of four experience points. Fabulous. Loved all of that. We are finding a lot of healing potions and stuff right now. So maybe between everything... Oh yeah. I wonder why they suggest... Why they suggest Moonstone as your partner. I would have suggested Pyros because his defense... I wonder if they want Moonstone because of his speed. Because he can't take a hit to save himself, but maybe they're like his attack speed against the boss? I don't understand. Why would you choose Moonstone? <clears throat> if it doesn't work with Moonstone, I'm picking my own team. And I'm going in with Maestro and Pyros because, yeah, Pyros is like a beast.
The guide says to focus on the main, the healing, the healing, um, or the main form, right? And ignore the other ones. Fuck you, Valkyrie. There's an egg yelling at me. Invisible egg. Invisible egg. Oh. I just need to know what it suggests against attacking the floating people. I couldn't remember if it suggests separating and attacking or focusing on just the one.
Alright, let me go Tingle real quick. Well, you got... Spells helped. Okay. Oh, let's try this. Reps Gamora. Right, because Rep is this the uh, the healing spell. Okay. Those that those are the ones that piss me off. The downer and the healing ones. Wicked set me off.
Why does it all say don't use skills or items? That's really annoying. Okay, so I've been, what I've been doing is having Moonstone focus on rep, rep, um, Gamoras when they're out. So that way, they can't keep getting healed. actually forgot you could have them specifically target. Yeah, and that is what happened with me the first time we were playing, is that's what kept happening, was that I would be, like, killing it for a minute, and then... 
all of a sudden, I would be like, just, yeah, anyway. We're doing better now, I guess. No, because last time we almost beat him, and then he got healed up halfway again, and I just gave up. I was like, just kill me. Like, I don't care anymore. All right, good. He killed... The healing one. Um, I was trying to heal. Are you fucking serious? Get up, my soul. All right, the healing one is gone. It's going better, yes. I've been making sure to avoid, well, to have, I've been making sure to have him target, like I said, the healing one. And that's been helping really big. Now that I know that I can have, now that I remember I can have him target individual people, it does make it a little easier. I'm like really focused right now. 
I apologize for being so quiet, guys. I'm just like, we're, I, yeah. Because while I have him focus on the healing well one, he can't keep healing this guy. And now I'm getting him to get his HP down faster. guys we might okay we might win this like I like keep my cool the way I have been but like I really we might win this I'm gonna have to remember this, uh, being able to control Healing one's gone. What the hell just happened? She was fine. Why did she... What? It was, I want that CD. I see that and I'm always like, um, I 
don't do CDs anymore, but I kind of wish I did. Guys, I think we might we might win this next wave. Alright, we got rid of the healing one, so that's good. Now he can't be healed anymore. We won. It's over. And boom, bitch. I want to get down. What? Skit, scat, go right attack. Titties, I'd shake them. Who am I kidding? I got man boobs. I can shake them. I'll shake them. Shake them like a salt shaker. Shake them like a salt shaker. Shake them like a salt shaker. Hey, is this you bitch? Chubia. What's <coughs> the best? That's a victory toke on my end, bitches. That's right. I'm going to fucking hit this shit at 420.
I did defeat Cubia. I mean, no thanks to Ms. you, bitch, Elba. but I did it. I Don't did it. Call me Ms. It wasn't easy. Anyway, what you must do is... Is... Release Aura. Would that lead to help? A question of possibility. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep a memory on that designated target thing, because that might be helpful. I'm sorry I joked about it. <coughs> In the future. The I, I won't say good luck because you were trying hard. Frustrated. Well, I wanted to do like a three hour stream like I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but I'm going to have to wrap this up at in 30. I'll go for another 30 minutes. Um, but uh, my computer, my phone's not working. Uh, just dead ass stopped. Um, I had plugged it in earlier, micro USB, and it came on like it was charging. So I just came out of the bathroom to um, check my phone, turn it back on, you know, um, nothing, no power, nothing. So I, I was like, okay, unplugged it, plugged it back. It's not even reacting to being plugged in. Um, I can't turn it on. Um, my phone has not been acting up at all. Um, so this is out of nowhere, which is exactly what just happened to my controller, my $70 controller two days ago, if you all remember that. I was playing multiverse and the joystick just snapped. Just snapped. No reason. Never had a problem with it. I don't play games that are very demanding on it. Um but uh here we are. Seventy dollars down the drain. And apparently GameStop no longer carries the the um U UBC for it like the like um it um they can't take it in as defect. Usually you can take a controller and sell it to them, even defective, and then they send it out and then the company fixes it, whoever they send it to to do that, and then they like refurbish it because it's been damaged, but now it's fixed, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, it's not even, they can't even do that. So I'm just out um, for this, uh, for the controller. I'm just out. I'm screwed. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing they can do about it. Um, usually, I get protection for all of my- Oh my god, okay. Seriously, right now is not the time for all of this fucking cord and shit to be doing this. Fucking pissing me off right now. Everything's falling apart, like what the fuck? Okay. As I was trying to say before everything root in my life decided to fall apart in two seconds. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I can't get that controller repaired. And now my phone is just magically not working. Yeah. Not even responding to a USB being plugged in. Um, it's, 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 there's, okay, cool. 
no one will want to shut down my stream. What is happening? Okay, so to the board. Oh my god. A stalking silent footsteps come by myself. Great. I love by myself. Ultimite. Pluto's kiss. Yes, that evening was huge. I'll never forget the Christmas Eve of 2005. Lifeline stopped. I was only a kid, but I thought I was the end of the world because Pluto kiss, kiss was a great name for it. Because of that, the layout of the internet became a problem, so the basic OS was transferred to Ultimite. Ultimite was the only OS that didn't get hit by it. Right? Don't you understand what these kind uh with these kinds of sentiments just keep putting Ultimate and WNC in power? Throw away the fantasy that Ultimate is a perfect system. I want them to change the name of that law. Law that prohibits any actions to gathering what may cause the network to function improperly or unsmoothly resulting in damage and obstruction. It's just way too long. <laughs> you want him to rephrase it. That's like reader feedback column, a day in the life of my family. It's already been five years since Pluto's kiss. Time just flies by. I remember when they opened the network to all just three years ago. It was Christmas Eve and everyone around the world was celebrating. There hasn't been any cyber terrorism since then. And I guess it's all because of WNC and Ultimate. It is indeed a perfect, flawless OS. I told you you should throw away fantasy about Ultimate being perfect. You're just falling into Ultimate and WNC hands. They say disaster strikes when least expected, so if you don't watch it, it'll be hell on Earth. I don't know what Ultimate and WNC is thinking, full, of, uh, thinking uh, full about themselves, but is there a meaning behind the network layoff day? Isn't that just some crap to make WNC feel better? So people do not trust the system anymore. Hashtag real life, people. All right. What time is it? Okay, yeah. More mail? Oh, no. Got more mail. You've got mail. I personal. Pyros, revenge! I found out a location of the cat player that humiliated me. Come to shapeless, haunted, holy ground to bear witness. Help needed by Sanjiro. So you don't have to do these missions that the your teammates are asking you to do, like the bitter hot blooded sand trap with Sanjiro. You don't have to do these. What it does is it makes your friendship better with these people, and it, I guess, uh, gives them endings at the end of the game. Um, so it's worth doing. I think it also might make them fight better. I'm not sure. Uh, I just I know it does affect their endings at the end of the game. So as as someone who doesn't like doing side quests that much, I insist that you do their side quests. <laughs> Hello, goodbye to the useless old Natsume. The next time we meet, my level will be ten times more. Until then. Alright, now we have news. Enviroman. In a resort town near Atama, uh, uh, Otami, a person locals have dubbed Enviroman has been creating a commotion. The man dressed from head to toe in black tights, steals bottles and cans meant for recycling, and leaves on average five cents per stolen item. Since no criminal reports have been filed, police are confounded on how to solve the problem. According to eyewitnesses, Enviroman leaves more money for higher grade bottles, so he is more welcomed than the traditional method of recycling. Uh, okay. Mega Float Operation. Testing of Tokyo's Mega Float began today in Tokyo Bay, where construction continues on experimental facility, a high-tech floating island connected by special rubber material and a solid underwater foundation. The structure is designed to withstand water pressure 
It will not be affected by earthquakes. The four-year project supported by communications industrial machinery in construction authorities finally completed construction last month. Tokyo Mega Float dimensions are 300. I don't care about this. I don't. I don't care about the stupid shit going on in the real world. Unless it affects me, I do not care right now. And none of that affected me. I'm not about to go run out there and jump on a float. So let's get back to the game. Because we have like roughly 10 minutes left. If you defeat level 10 vine at the bottom of a bottomless hopeless footstep, your level will be 10 times its current level. Interesting. I'm obviously not going to do the Come Alone dungeon, because that's clearly a story dungeon, and we're not doing story right now. Why don't we go check out... Let's go do Pyros' level. I like him. He's, like, eccentric. But in a fun way. And we'll bring Alk. Just to level him up. I know, always Maestro, but we're not doing a main dungeon right now, so I'm confident he'll be okay. Oh, God! Jesus, fuck. Alright, level 19, level 37, 38, 31, and 37. Okay, you're pretty well geared. But I think I have some stuff that I can't even use. Like that. This, I can't, I can't use this. You have it. I am giving you my rare item, shut up. Oh, that's not worth it. Okay. Yes, what is it? I know those yes. are really powerful, but he's, like, not good. <laughs> so anything I can do to help him. <laughs> and yes, that even means giving up my strong... Oh, we should go s save it again, because I just gave a ton of armor out. Okay. I don't... Yes! Oh, is that it? Is it Mia? I should have realized it was gonna be Mia when he said cat character. Oh, level 40? Jesus! That's true, that's true. 
She's not a human, right? She's not played by a, um... She's, um... System controlled, right? That's fucking disgusting. Can we be real? Like, come on. That's so gross. <laughs> Bottoms up. I just love being consumed. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my god, this, like, natural lighting is making my skin look beautiful on camera. I'm just saying. I look, like, 20 years younger. Okay. Ten. Five. That's right, okay. You know, I do have to give, I have to give Elk credit for one thing. He might not be as nearly powerful as Maestro, but um, he attacks with his magic far more frequently than she does. You know how many times I've been like watching the fight and she's just standing there? You got it, guys. And doing literally nothing? Him? He's over there dropping fucking shadow spells on the goddamn treasure box without me asking him to. Like, what? It's almost like her AI is only for healing. And even then, she doesn't do it unless I tell her to. Bitch, just because you're stronger than Elk doesn't mean you can just walk around here doing when you want what you want. What you want, when you want. Talking dyslexic, yo. Okay, I have my parson back. I was just standing here and letting him run around. Ow! 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 Ah! I, I, I couldn't figure out what item to use off the top of my head, so I was just like, Ow! Do it! <laughs> Handle your shit! <laughs> oh, God. And then I was gonna die. He's strong. He did like 400 damage to me.
Yes, thank you. Jesus. I'm like, can you cure my status effect? I know you can. Please do it. <laughs> no! Are you fucking kidding me? The amount of times that, that this fucking we get confused is disgusting. I am so... Oh, I don't even have 10 magic. You need to stop, bro. I know you're a big dummy, but you're like... Showing them you're a big dummy. Stop being a big dummy! He's a big dummy, but he's a very powerful big old dummy. I'm not doing extra rooms. I'm just... We're, we're get, we gotta get out of here. I just want to get down to Mia. Let's go get to the Vagarant. <laughs> Maybe this would allow me to start putting her on my team again. East? Oh, yeah! I forgot, you can just tell me where to go. Hell yeah! Fucking spiked guards? What the hell does that do? Well, you can't even use them. Ooh, you, here. Take these. You, use. You, equipped. Now. Yes, perfect. I don't, yeah, but I, well, it's because I don't have any. We're broke. I've been spending all my money on healing items. So, I don't have any. That's why I haven't been using them. I only have fairy ocarinas right now. And like three fortune wires. <laughs> ah, but yeah, I've been too broke to buy them. I've been considering them not necessary for now. But I'm starting to think they might be a little more necessary. <laughs> than I would care to admit. Yeah, 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 that's true. It'd be easier if there was a way to tell what trap it was. Because if it was, like, any, basically any trap but the explosion trap, I would be okay triggering. Because the explosion traps have a chance of one hit killing you. And ain't nobody trying to be one hit kill up in this bitch. Unless it's a bot. Unless it's a bad guy, then by all means, get the one hit kill on. Cooked bile? Oh my god, that's disgusting. I'm not using that. L. 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 No. 
Ow. Yeah, I think I'll start buying, um, I think I'll start buying fairy orbs again. I feel like that would have helped us in some of the dungeons. Because then I could have gotten to the boss sooner. And used less supplies to get to them. Mia! 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 Hmm. Many thanks for thy gift the other day. Oh. Um. Just kidding. I remember you. Wasn't it fun getting a color makeover? Yeah, I know, but I didn't have... We, with those that last boss, I had no healing supplies. So all of the money I made was for healing and healing alone. So that we could no beat his ass. And it's a good thing I did. Fun, and we won. So it worked in the end. But yes, I do need to start buying the orbs. You're serious, aren't you? But at the moment, healing was more important. I, I wanted to get that boss Profusely. done because we couldn't progress the story without fucking killing that prick. As long as you understand, it is all right. Hey. But now that I ever heard now that I know, help? we can designate targets. That's actually, honestly, probably gonna make some of these boss fights easier. Because some of these boss fights like to use multiple baddies. And now I know how to attack individual units. Yes, of course. It's a super rare item. Only seven exist in the world. I want I'll this helmet. <laughs> Are you sure? What? Yeah. So will you forgive me? There is nothing to forgive. I was not angry to be. I am a very open-minded man. <laughs> I love him. He's annoying and weird, but, but I love him. I'm sure. You what bothers me is why is his head so tiny mm -hmm. and the body so big? Maybe you shouldn't. You did it again, you damn cat! You're gonna pay for this! She's such a bitch! Mia, you're going a little too far with this one. It's fine. Once he logs out, it'll be fixed. Hey, why do you play tricks on Pyros? Hmm? Hmm. Good question. I love that she types with emojis. Emotes. Emotes, not emojis, because emotes. I think I understand, but... ...are different. That mission wasn't bad. That was pretty easy. I wonder, I want to check something. Okay, so the next mission. Oh, oh, that's right. Maestro does use emoticons. You're right. You're right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save it. And then do Sanjiro's level the next time we play. Um, So there is a... As you guys know, 50-50 chance that sometimes I will be live again on a Saturday night. But more often than not, it won't happen because it's my date night with my partner. However, sometimes we get our date night done early. Um, and with how much progress we've made in this, um, if we do get done early tonight and we are vibing on it, you guys, I might... Be back with more dot hack tonight. No promises though. Um, I do miss double streaming 
with you guys on Saturdays, but that was back when date nights were on Friday. Um, but with our new work schedule being Monday through Friday, we just unfortunately hey, what's wrong? Have time. Um, so, um, if I am back tonight, do know that it will be with this. Um, so, just in case for those of you who are watching me play this and want to come back and watch, hey, what's wrong? I will be. If I'm live tonight, it'll be with this. Hey, what's wrong? His armor is horrendous. Holy shit. Uh. Okay, that should help. What's your new weapon look like? Bruh. It's dope. All right. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. We'll check the we'll check the letter when we get back. We'll save it for now. It's probably Pyros being pissed off about what Mia did. All right, everybody. Well, thank you all for coming. I hope you had fun this morning. But it's time for the bakery to close. I got a phone to go fix. So if I'm back tonight, I would love to see you all then. If not, I will see you tomorrow night. Because in the morning, Topher streams on Sundays. But tomorrow night, I will see you guys with more dot hack, regardless of if I'm back tonight or not. All right? All right, everybody. Until then, I hope you all have a sweet rest of your Saturday. Very out.